welcome to MG Tracy. Well, today we've got a number of coffee machines. We've got my tried and tested Tazima from Bosch. We've got the Kerps Dulce Gusta that we tried a few weeks ago. And today we're going to be looking at the DeLonghi version that also uses the Dulce Gusta pods. This one actually looks a, a, a much nicer design, doesn't it? I quite like the red. So what we find with a lot of the coffee machines is actually these uh, bits of kit are pretty cheap. This is around $30 or £25, so is this one, it's in that sort of area. So it's a little bit like computer printers really. You get a subsidised price for the bit of kit and then whether it's inkjet cartridges or in our case today if it's the pods, this is where they make the money. So they get the money long term back from you. Uh, from buying the product that uniquely fits their bit of kit. Okay, so let's get this unboxed and we'll have a look at what's inside. Okay, so it's a very similar design to the one from Kurtz we did. First thing you need to do is give your tank a good wash and you'll see that there is a, a max fill line for that. So we'll get that done now. Okay, now don't forget when you are using this day to day, this little valve bit at the bottom, make sure you give that a good wash every so often, just in tap water, but don't let anything bacteria build up on there. So we have the similar switch here which is actually cold or hot water being poured through the coffee pod. Remember the main difference between the Dulce Guste system and the uh, Tasimo system is that the Tasimo system uses barcodes. So that sets up the machine with the temperature, the pressure and the fluid amount. So when it's filled up the cup it will stop. If you leave the Dulce Gusta on like that, it will just keep pouring water until the uh, tank runs out so you'll have coffee everywhere. So you've got to stay with this machine all the time that you're making coffee. That probably sounds a bit obvious, but it isn't with other coffee machines. So this is a multi-height, depending what type of coffee. That's obviously if you're doing a little espresso. That is awesome, eh? Okay, so what happens here is you turn it on, you have a button, it's very similar on all the machines. You press that first and it flashes red and that actually starts heating up the water. Okay, so when you first use the uh, machine, you've put your tank in. You should find one of these in your kit. So you've got a little uh, sort of uh, funnel. That needs to come out when you're making coffee proper. But initially, you just need to give the machine a bit of a wash through. So uh, we hit our button on the top. We wait for that to go green. We're locked down on the cassette, on the little funnel there. And there we go. And then we wash through anything that may have been left over from the manufacturing process in the uh, machine itself. And about once a week you need to run this cleaning cycle just to make sure there's no build up of coffee, tea, or particularly if you've been making Nesquik hot chocolate sort of drinks in these machines, it tends to leave bits and pieces in there. Okay, so we'll finish that off there. So I've done a few of those, so I think that's okay now. The tank's been washed out. And we're ready to do our first coffee. Um, I quite like these ones, which are currently on Amazon. Uh, Cafe Royal, never heard of them before, but this is a hazelnut flavored coffee. You don't need any milk with this, and it's really great. So our machine, we've hit our button, that's gone to green. We need to take out our little cleaning funnel, pop your coffee in, slides in. This shouldn't need any force. If anything doesn't feel right, don't uh, push it too hard. Lock it, which is actually putting a hole in that coffee pod, and then to the right for hot, to the left for cold coffee. A lot of manufacturers ask you to subscribe and give you their email address. It's definitely worth it with these coffee machines. It's not just in case there's a recall or anything negative. It's the fact that they will send you free samples and offers for money off the pods that are probably cheaper than buying it direct from a store. I'll put some links below to Amazon to some of my favorite coffees. See what you think. Now I think you can already see that's a fantastic looking coffee. You've got this sort of 
a fact like a pint of Guinness here that ebbs away. It's just awesome. The smell out of this world, particularly I say for this coffee which is hazelnut. So if you're making a coffee that has milk, um, then very conveniently it will say, I'm the milk. So that one's a latte. So if you're doing that, you put the milk in first. When that's finished, when we only need to run the milk up to about halfway, then you can put in your Starbucks pod or whatever for the actual coffee. This is another one that's quite nice. This is the Caramel Macchiato, which you can find in Asda, Tesco in the UK, or Walmart in the States. So there we are. It's a very quick guide to starting off with your Nescafe Dulce Gusto. This is the DeLonghi version. If you'd like to see any of the other coffee machines and have a look at the little eye in the top right hand corner of the screen, where I shall link some of my other videos. Please leave me a comment. It's very lonely out here in YouTube land. So leave me a comment or a thumbs up. That'd be wonderful. I'll be back in the next couple of days with uh, another uh, demo of this machine and we'll try doing the Starbucks. Thank you from London, have a great day, hope to see you again. Don't forget, subscribe and hit that bell.